Hey, hey, it's Dana the Gypsy Psychic. Are y'all ready for another message? Come on in, get comfortable, put your feet up, get your blanket, get your pillow, get you something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to, put in the earbuds, kick back and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. If you're new to the channel, it's going to work the way that it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'll lay out at least 15 cards. I'm going to talk about it as I clarify it and sew together a story. Okay, now let's jump in and see what these cards have to say today. Hey Taurus, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Woo what is going on? How's it shaking? How's it rolling? How's it going? Bold tribe, how's it going Taurus? We're going to throw down for Taurus. Let's just jump straight into it. Thanks to my handy dandy prologue y'all just heard. I don't have to explain anything anymore. So let's just jump in and see what these cards have to say for Taurus. I feel something stirring. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. I'm not here all the time, so catch me when you can. So let's see what these cards have to say for Taurus, yeah? Let's see. No idea what's going to happen here. No idea. Give me a minute to channel, and we'll work it out. Spirit. Woo. Spirit. Source, universal, <laughs> spirit, source, universal energy. I have the collective with me, spirit, the collective of Taurus. What is it that Taurus needs to know and understand about themselves, their lives, and their futures? Spirit, what's coming towards Taurus? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate for their best and highest good? Spirit, what's the message today? Please give me the eyes to see it, the ears to hear it, and the words to explain it. Okay. Tell me where the stop. They want to talk so bad, you guys. Oh, my goodness. Tell me where the stopping point is. I'll cut three times, and I'll pull straight from the top right there all right let's cut them can you guys see in there all right oops interesting let's go one two three two and three bottom of the deck the ace pentacles looky there looky there we'll set that side all right first card out is the moon some kind of struggle internal struggle um, big struggle. The Ten of Swords in reverse. Inevitable endings. Renewal. Regeneration. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Upset in the home, the family, the finances, your sense of well-being. Someone's sense of well-being. The Princess of Cups. Creation. Emotional connection. Creation. The Six of Wands. Victory. Progress. Success. Overcoming something. Winning something. The Sun. Happiness, success, vitality, the king of swords in reverse. Don't know quite what that is just yet, but I can tell you it's a bunch of bullshit. The five of swords in the center of the reading, holding on to some kind of mentality. The six of pentacles in reverse, loss, debt, uh, greed. Um, we'll see. Death in reverse, some kind of transformation. Sometimes it's about a resistance to change. The four of swords in reverse, Contemplation, reevaluation, overthinking something. The Three of Pentacles in reverse, something not being reciprocated possibly. The Five of Pentacles in reverse, we'll see what that's about. The Empress, the Four of Wands, peace, harmony, stability, judgment, decision. Five of Wands, conflict, Six of Cups, emotional peace. The World in reverse, a blockage. The Prince of Pentacles in reverse, stuck in this blockage. Options, options, choices, decisions, temperance in reverse and imbalance. And the emperor to the four of cups in reverse, to the king of wands in reverse, to the ace of wands in reverse, and the fool. Boom. All right, what's coming next? Queen of swords in reverse, ace of cups in reverse, the devil, three of wands in reverse, the king of pentacles, the eight of swords. Yeah, see, we're all just repeating. Okay, we'll stop with the fool. Is where we stop. All right, you guys. 
All right, so a few things you need to know about me before I dive in here is I have a propensity to be inappropriate. If that bothers anyone, go on home. The neighborhood's too rough for you, okay? I will smoke my vape on camera. If you don't like it, go home, okay? Um, oh, and I'll swear. I will, I guarantee you at some point, I will swear. So if that is offensive to you, go home. Other than that, those of y'all who are left, let's dive in and see what this is all about. The moon. The moon. First card out sets the tone for everything. The Hierophant in reverse. The cutting loose of ties, commitments, obligations, a reevaluation of a belief system. Ooh. Queen of Wands in reverse. The Queen of Swords in reverse. And the Nine of Cups in reverse. Okay. Alrighty then. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. What is this about? The Eight of Pentacles. Working hard, building, compounding something. Strength in reverse. Overcoming a weakness. Okay. Okay. So... Okay, Taurus, here's what's going on, okay? Here's what's going on. So the moon, we open up with the moon, okay? The moon is about an, a deep internal struggle. It's the same struggle for every human being. It's between that which we know to be true and that which we really don't want to be true, okay? And in this mood card, moon card, mood card, hot, funny, in this moon card, right, you are struggling deeply, deeply lamenting and struggling. What are you struggling about? Well, the Ten of Swords in reverse, the inevitable ending of some kind of situation in your life. What's the situation? Well, the Hierophant in reverse. The Hierophant in reverse is about the cutting loose of ties, commitments, obligations in your life. It's also about a reevaluation of a belief system. In the reevaluation of the belief system, your personal belief system is directly responsible for the need or desire to cut loose of certain ties, commitments, and obligations in your life. Okay? Queen of Swords in reverse, you're pissed off. The Queen of Wands in reverse, your needs aren't being met. Nine of Cups in reverse, you are emotionally depleted. Ten of Cups in reverse. And you can't quite seem to create the kind of happiness that, that you really want in your life. Ten of Swords in Reverse also talks about renewal and regeneration, which tells me that perhaps you've really, really tried. You've really, really tried to make this work to the Queen of Pentacles in Reverse, but you can't make it work. You can't make it work, and you are just racked in turmoil about losing or stepping away from the title or the position that you hold in this particular relationship, the relationship where you are struggling with the end of it. You see the end of it. You see it. It's coming towards you. You know it's going to end and you're struggling with it. Okay. Eight of Pentacles talks about making a plan. And strength in reverse talks about a weakness. Don't get caught off guard. Um, if it is you pulling the trigger on all of this, what they're telling you to do here is to, to begin to do it. Eight of Pentacles, work it out, work on it, figure it out. Strength in reverse. Um, don't, don't be on the weak end of things. Be proactive. And then strength in the upright bridges these beautiful cards right here. What is strength in the upright? Get the upper hand. Don't be surprised by this. Don't be, um, and this kind of goes back to the previous reading. There's something going on. I, I can't relate. The other reading wasn't even remotely close to anything that's going on in my life or has transpired since then. And neither is this one really. So I'm, tr I'm, I'm trying to piece it together for you, okay? S this big internal struggle that you have, um, stop struggling and execute, basically is what this is saying. Stop struggling and execute. Strength, 
find your weakness, find why it is that you are in the moon energy, okay? Find this this struggle, this weakness, and why is it a weakness? It's because you already know something to be true inside of you and you're struggling against it, right? That's the weakness, is struggling against what you know to be true inside of you. So come to terms with the fact that you're angry, you're dissatisfied, you're emotionally, very much emotionally drained by this situation. It's coming to an inevitable ending. You've worked really hard on it. Eight of Pentacles, you've worked really hard on it. Queen of Pentacles in reverse, but it just ain't, it just ain't going for you right? Strength in reverse. Um, if you are to stay in this position, it will be a weakness for your future. Strength in the upright comes after this and says it is time to gird up and strengthen yourself so you can take action in this situation. What happens when you take action in this situation? Well, the Princess of Cups to the Six of Wands. There is some kind of Cre creation, emotional creation or emotional connection. Princess of Cups is also about emotional growth and emotional maturity to the Six of Wands that leads you towards a battle. Perhaps what this is saying is that you will overcome a certain battle that you're going through in your life right now based on your emotional growth. Perhaps your emotional growth is the catalyst for all of this happening. Whatever the situation or story is for you, Six of Wands says it's overcoming, it's succeeding something, succeeding in something, not succeeding, right? The Eight of Wands, movement, action, change is what is required of you. Get out of this moon energy, come to terms with what it is you already know, and take action in the situation, which leads us to the lovers. The lovers talks about self-love. It talks about your choices. It talks about significant relationships. Perhaps you need to leave a situation for your children. Perhaps you're looking around at your spouse and going, I am not going to let you do this to our children. Um, perhaps you're looking around at a situation which is a bunch of stepchildren and you're like, no, I'm not about it. Um, some people are, some people aren't, right? Perhaps you're looking around and saying, uh, no, I love myself way more than I love what's happening in this situation right now. And I'm making choices for me either way, anyway. It's choices for you, yours, and what's best for you to take some action in the situation and stop being caught up in the internal turmoil of the moon. Death, something needs to come to an end immediately so you can begin to to transform. Also, the page of swords to the two of cups in reverse. Perhaps, maybe, this isn't transpiring for you right now and you're going to get some information that totally changes the status of a very important relationship in your life. Okay? Or maybe you've already gotten some kind of information that makes you question your values and your belief system. Makes you question yourself with the moon card. Perhaps you've gotten some information that completely and totally devastates you and pisses you off. If you haven't, and this reading is for you, which is really hard to say because, I mean, it's a general reading. Who knows who the hell it's for, right? But if this hasn't happened, it's, hap it's going to happen. If it's happening right now, you need to take some action towards it. If it hasn't happened and you think it's on the horizon, then you need to begin to plan and prepare for it because something is coming to an end, whether it's by your choice or not, something is absolutely coming to an end. Um, either maybe you're going to communicate the ending, perhaps someone communicates an ending to you, but regardless, it's in your best interest. It is time for this to end. It is time for this to turn over. Movement, action, change, victory, progress, success, self-love, important choices, important relationships, endings, transformations, a new mindset perhaps with the Page of Swords. Because whatever this relationship is for you right here is no bueno. It's over. It's done. The sun. What we're telling you is for your best and highest good. It is the path that is going to lead you towards transformation, 
towards happiness, success, and vitality. The five of ones, the conflict around you, your happiness, your happiness is being deeply affected by some kind of conflict that's going on around you. And it's directly related to someone else who is super pissed off. Okay, so we have the Queen of Swords in reverse up here. This is you. Um, I want to point out also Queen of Swords in reverse sometimes is about denial. Perhaps you are in denial about how severe this situation is. Um, snap to it. King of Swords in reverse. Someone is being an asshole to you. Big time asshole. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Greed, debt, materialism. Maybe they're spending all your money. Maybe they're spending y'all's bill money on gambling. Maybe they are uh, giving it to their children. Um, whatever the situation is, it is a, a, a dysfunctional type of well-being, okay? To the emperor in reverse, the emperor in reverse and the king of swords in reverse, I cannot express to you what a ginormous, self-centered, egocentric, out-of-control, manipulative person, lying person that this is right here. Whoever this is in your life, they are like off the hook stupid. Off the hook stupid with anger. Five of Swords in the center of the reading. Again, to the Six of Pentacles. Five of Swords is about a mentality. A win at all costs, white knuckle grip on some kind of a mindset. And it's in the center of your reading. So it belongs to you. Okay? Hold on. And it's absolutely directly related to your sense of well-being. Your your the giving, the receiving, the sharing of prosperity in life. Five of Swords, the mentality. King of Wands in reverse. This is your ego, my friend. This is your ego. This is self-centered flesh nature. And whatever this mentality is that you are refusing to let go of, maybe giving someone the benefit of the doubt that doesn't deserve the benefit of the doubt anymore. Whatever this mentality is that your flesh refuses to give up on, the advice is the three of swords have from some foresight. Have some foresight. See what's coming. Knight of Wands in reverse. Stop taking inspired action. Ten of Pentacles to salvage this whole thing right here. King of Swords in reverse. Because you're dealing with someone who ain't playing fair. They are mentally manipulating you. They are lying to you. They are um, withholding truth. Or denying perhaps their own truth. Three of Pentacles in reverse. They're trying to create some kind of teamwork and collaboration with you. But it's not in your best interest. Death in reverse. Death in reverse talks about two things. It talks about a resistance to change. Which is this transformation in this whole top row here. right? Stuck in the moon card. Going against what it is that you know is, is true inside of you. Resistance to the change. Resistance to the change. Take a step back and see exactly what's going on here. Death in reverse is about a personal transformation. What's the personal transformation? Well, the moon in reverse. Coming to terms with this moon card right here. Coming to terms with this. The struggle that you know inside of yourself. The struggle that is making you reevaluate your belief systems or cut loose of some kind of ties and commitments, the anger, the dissatisfaction, the emotional turmoil. This moon in reverse, this personal transformation of death in reverse is you coming to terms with this struggle, coming to terms with it. The devil in reverse and releasing your limiting beliefs. We have three major arcana in a row here. Not to mention death, not to mention strength twice. The sun, the emperor in reverse. I mean, this is like a massive, massive change that is going to take place in your life. The devil in reverse is about releasing your limiting beliefs, detaching from toxicity. What are your limiting beliefs? Well, the moon, maybe there's hope for this. Maybe this isn't what I really think it is. Maybe what I really know to be true inside of myself is, is me doubting the situation. 
No. No, the situation is toxic. Detach yourself from a toxic situation and release your limiting beliefs. High Priestess in reverse. Detach energetically from this situation. High Priestess in reverse is also about things being hidden from you. Maybe things are being hidden from you and you're fixing to find out. Fixing to find out. Sure, fixing to find out. The Four of Swords in reverse. Overthinking things. Three of Pentacles in reverse about why it's not working. Nine of Pentacles in reverse talks about a financial setback. It talks about a waste of time. It's a waste of your time to think and think and think about why it is this isn't going to work because it just is what it is. You are dealing with someone who is incapable of putting in what needs to be put in to make this situation work. I mean, completely and utterly incapable. The emperor in reverse is egocentric, self-centered, and out of control of themselves. The king of swords in reverse behind it is about someone who is in a state of denial, someone who is lying, someone who is mentally abusive or mentally manipulative. Trying to rack your brain as to why, why, why is a waste of your time. The why is because of this person. That's the why of the situation. Because of this person right here. They are incapable of participating in a functional manner in this situation. Three of swords in reverse. Come to terms. Come to terms with this. Come to terms with the grief, the sorrow, and the pain that you are feeling. Five of pentacles in reverse. And come out of a state of insecurity. To the page of wands. Explore, discover, and get excited about the magician. Manifesting the kind of life that you want to have for yourself. Not trapped in some kind of a relationship where you're trying to have the kind of life that this person wants to have for themselves. No. You have what you want out of life is important. What you want out of life is viable. The way that you want to live, the way that you want to experience things, that is important. And if you are dealing with someone who is doing nothing but creating static in your life, you need to reevaluate the way that you believe about things. The magician talks about manifesting any kind of life reality that you want for yourself you have the power think about the mind you guys the mind the mind is mind-blowing chop your head off and the whole thing goes to shit right your mind controls everything and there are pieces of our brains that most of us don't even use you think for one second that your mind can't create your reality because it can. You think it into existence. And then the fire energy comes behind it and gets excited about it. Right? Then the emotions get vested. And now your sense of well-being is consumed by it. And guess what? Now you're living it. That's manifestation. Starts in your mind. Make up your mind that you are not going to accept or tolerate less than what it is you want your life to to be and manifest your way out of this situation straight up empress stand in your power stand in your power it is the card of taurus it's card of libra too but we're talking taurus here stand in your power you got the magician the high priestess even though she's in reverse but she's in reverse for your own best interest right now right um the magician is lesson number one of the major arcana of life. What you think about comes about whether you like it or not, period. So be careful what you think about because it becomes your reality. Lesson two is the high priestess. Your intuition will never, ever fail you. The moon, what you're struggling against right now, right? Your intuition will never fail you. The empress is lesson three. One, two, three. Why is she three? Because she comes from these two lessons. She follows her intuition and she manifests accordingly. And boom, she's the empress. Stand in your power. Ten of Wands in reverse. And dump this burden. 
dump this burden, four of wands, and find some peace for your life. Find some peace and some contentment. Six of swords, leave the mental bullshit behind. The hangman, cut yourself loose from the tree with a new perspective. Get a new perspective. Ace of swords, see things clearly. Crystal, crystal clear. Judgment and make a conscious, cognitive decision to do something about it. Five of wands, all the conflict. Nine of cups, what do you want? Do you want conflict or do you want wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction in your life? What do you want? The world in reverse says we can't take you there until you decide what it is that you want. Because what you're doing right now is this up here, right? Angry, needs not met, emotionally depleted, emotionally unhappy, struggling against what you know to be true inside of you. The world says this cycle will not end for you until you make a decision in the judgment card to do something about it. You'll be stuck here. Prince of Pentacles in reverse. Seven of Cups. You have options. You have choices. You have decisions that you have to make. Standing around in confusion, temperance in reverse, only lends itself to an imbalance. A whole being imbalance. The Emperor to the Four of Cups in reverse, to the King of Wands in reverse, to the Ace of Wands in reverse. This person that you see over here, the person that you are interchange, exchanging with right here in this whole situation, you see them through some kind of rose-colored glasses. You want them to be something that they are incapable of being. You are trying to make a silk purse out of a sow's ear is what you're trying to do here. And these cards want you real, real, real badly to see the reality of this situation. This person is not this fantasy land idea of who you think they are. As a matter of fact, let's back up. Fantasy land, seven of cups, imbalanced with temperance. Why? Because you're seeing this in this way. Four of Cups in reverse. Maybe you are emotionally apathetic to your own needs, wants, and desires because you've been beaten down by this person so bad. Perhaps the emotional apathy of the Four of Cups in reverse is this, this, this emperor in reverse that you seem to think is an emperor. Perhaps they are emotionally incapable of some kind of empathy or compassion. King of Wands in reverse. This time, that is your person. See, you're seeing them in the upright. What they're telling you is that they are an egocentric, self-centered person who has only their best interest at heart. Ace of Wands in reverse, and there's nothing good to be had here. The Tower. Tower after tower after tower. Nine of Swords. Stop digging around in the Tower and see it for what it is. The tower is supposed to be an inclination that what it is we're trying to build upon can't bear the weight that we're trying to build, of that which we're trying to build, right? It just can't, and it crumbles. And there you are in the nine of swords, right? Trying to shove it all back together again, rose-colored glasses, thinking that, well, it'll change this time, she'll change this time, she won't do that again. No, 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 no. Two of cups in reverse. This is a the ending of some kind of significant relationship in your life and the fool. Last card in this spread. The fool is about a brand new beginning, a brand new journey. It's the answer yes, if you're looking for some uh, a yes or a no, the answer is yes. Bounce out of this situation, brand new beginning, brand new journey, brand new direction, manifest it, manifest it, manifest it. Ace of Pentacles, manifest what? Bottom of the deck, Ace of Pentacles, brand new prosperity. So you're sowing your seeds on dry ground right here, and they it will have no return, okay? You need to sow your seeds someplace else. You need to sow your seeds in a new beginning, in a new journey, and leave whatever this is behind you. Again, if it hasn't happened yet, it's on its way. If it's happening right now, this is how you get out of it. If it's already happened to you, sorry about that. <laughs> day late and a dollar short, right? 
But this fool, this is the direction that you need to go. This is for your best and highest good. Let's do a uh, numerology card, yeah? Let's do that. Let's do that. Spirit, what's takeaway? What's the mic drop? What do you want everyone to go home with? Spirit, what do you want everyone to go home with? Synchronicity. I cannot lie. Synchronicity. 7087. Interesting. What was 78? Spiritual career. Ah, I thought it was 78. 87, if I could count. Synchronicity. This card indicates a need to have faith in the universal order of events, even in the midst of hopelessness and uncertainty. There is no such thing as an accident or a coincidence in the universe, and the perfect people and opportunities will appear miraculously when least expected. Even when you can't logically comprehend how your dreams could possibly come true, you must trust in the magical power of synchronicity to deliver what you need. Remember, it isn't your job to know how things will unfold. It's simply your job to believe and know that all is well. The hows, whens, and whos lie in the hands of the divine. But once you surrender to the outcome, you are shown the next logical step to take. In order to improve your current situation, you're being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life. Cycles that are encouraging you to trust in the power of synchronicity. By living in consistent alignment with Source through positive thoughts, emotions, and prayer, you will automatically attract miraculous synchronicities into your life. If that's not the perfect card for this, I don't know what is. Should we do an extended reading? You guys kind of liked that, the last reading that I did. You kind of you kind of really liked that. Um, should we do an extended reading? What would we read about? What would I ask about? Maybe I should ask where this fool is going and what this new opportunity is and what it is you should focus on manifesting. Hmm. I haven't decided if I do an extended reading to this, I'm going to do it right here, right now. And I will put a link in um, the description box and I'm sure I'll put some kind of something when I load this up to YouTube. So, uh, yeah. All right. Well, if there's a link, then there's an extended reading. And if there's not, there's not. Namaste.